They had to show us the little ass. I love right? it. Perky and smooth. <laughs> but just in time, the steam covered the rest. <laughs> but we got a little fan service. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the Rainbow Reels with Panos. I'm Matt. We are reacting to episode 8, season 7 of My Hero Academia. Last episode. The fighting started. Shigaraki is in that huge cage yes. up in the air, right? What did they call it? Coffin of the Skies or something. Mm -hmm. And then we also started seeing the different uh, battlefields. Deku is on his way to Shigaraki, and we also saw Dawi and his brother, his younger brother at the end. Yes. So let's dive right in. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Who is that? No, is that that anti-hero now? No, maybe not. Ah, oh, the doctor. Um. Seeds. Seeds, what is being missing? Wow. Dabi's dance part two. Oh, I feel for him, you know, that was... Oh, that was just... That was destroying. And then he didn't come. Oh. Mm. This is crazy. He's melting away. And of course, all for one find found him. He finds every like mm -hmm. he finds everybody. Oh, we're getting a proper flashback. What? Wow, so he was in a coma or something? <laughs> so he wants to get home. He probably doesn't know where he is. Yeah, but he was worried. He was worried. Oh my god, this is crazy. Which is also probably why his uh, voice sounds different. Huh? <laughs> So look how he, he connected still yeah. is to his father, you know. Oh no. <laughs> ah, he was one, he's one of the vessels as well. That is crazy. Interesting. そう、死にちょうどいい場所だったからだ。死にゆく体を family and don't miss him or something <gasps> no look he's inside oh. Oh. it's almost like he's turning into coal no? mm. 
Wow, it's crazy, no? Wow. It's almost like he's self-destructing. Maybe that's his plan. Like, he's gonna explode and kill everybody in, like, a 10 kilometer radius. You know, I wonder if you could also inflame um, the atmosphere. Like, if it... If it, if it if the atmosphere hot could... enough. Yeah. Is the statue melting? Yeah, it's stone and it's melting. What? Wow. It's like jets of fire, you know? Wow. This is dangerous. How are they gonna stop him? Whoa, what just happened? Him or something. Yeah, do something. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. Wow, this looks beautiful as the building freezes. Ah! Stop it! That is incredible. Wow. Oh, that so was his idea to fight against mm. him, not not the dad. So he he prepared for it. So interesting, and never wanted to fight Davi. <laughs> they had to show us the little ass. I love right? it, perky and smooth, <laughs> but just in time, the steam covered the rest. <laughs> but we got a little fan service. <laughs> This looks beautiful. It's like my armor, my look. Mm. <laughs> they give us a lot of shirtless <laughs> teens. This is incredible, no? How he transformed into this new move. Total harmony. Covered flames, yeah. Oh, arigato, Midoriya. Let's go. Phosphor? Wow. Ice and crush. Gold flames, what did it say? Pale blade. Wow, incredible. Ah! Babe, you better hurry. Worst possible time, he's melting the ground. Yeah. <gasps> Oh, he looks like a devil. He is a demon. <laughs> Burn up and die. That is... They're gonna save him! <laughs> no! They took the hit so he can restart. <laughs> Did he kill them? 
See, this is another episode where I feel like we're in a therapy session. <laughs> Family therapy. Right? Yes. Yeah, but also Endeavor has changed so much, right? He's a different person. Wow, he's just going all out. Out of control. What did he do? Gonna freeze him. Is that the end of him? No. Wow. <laughs> the whole city turned into yes. ice. Wait. What? Wild. Do you think he's dead? I don't know. I hope not. It was. I, what do you think? Well, as he said, it was the Endeavor family therapy session. It was the <laughs> family therapy session. Let's talk about that flashback that actually revealed that he tried and he wanted to go home and he ended up going home. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, because he had this connection with his dad, right? He obsession. wanted to... Obsession. obsession. Yeah, more obsession. Yeah. Right? He wanted to show him... What he achieved. What he achieved, that he's worthy. Yes. But then he went back and it almost was like... He had moved on. They had moved, they had moved, moved on. on. Like, it looked like they didn't miss him, mm -hmm. but obviously it's been three years. Yeah, he doesn't know. So maybe they, they have moved on, right? It's It's been three years. Yes. And he just saw his dad training with uh, Toto, Rocky. Yeah. Toto. And it looked like nothing had changed. What, what he was doing back then with his yeah. dad. He was being trained. Exactly. And now, now his brother was being trained. Yeah. So interesting that he left. Um, he left, but then he ended up going back to the to the revelation. Revelation? To those, you know, to Doroki yeah. and so on, through the through the broker, obviously, which you know we know in the first in the first season, they were working with that broker to recruit new people. Um, I thought it was interesting that I mean I wasn't surprised that All for One found him and then obviously saw the potential mm -hmm. and then was like, oh, this could be one of those vessels that I'm going to prepare for myself. Yeah. But then they let go of him because they realized quite quickly they can't control him and he's also just you know too. Powerful, but also reckless and a bit of everything. Yeah, and they said they realized that he was going to die anyway, mm. right? Because the body was just too damaged. Exactly. And... But he managed to survive. He managed to survive to that point, actually, where he also said, you know, I dealt my senses and I pushed my limits. So he was continuously burning himself. And even here, he was just recklessly burning yeah. himself. But obviously, the body had adjusted and he was able to just, yes, he was burning, or burning himself and we saw how even that dark skin just became darker at what point yeah. i thought oh my god he's gonna turn into coal and yeah. just disappear i think, I think in the, he was ready to die like he knew he's gonna die but he was just gonna yeah. give his all yeah in this fight he was know? ready to die and... for his conviction uh, and then we obviously see them see them fight i have to say though i expected a little more fighting mm -hmm. right it was just maybe two three attacks like a bit of i'm saying a bit of flames obviously <laughs> you know it's exaggerated because they were f throwing crazy flames at, at each other but he attacked his brother once with a big punch with a yeah. big flash fire attack he flew into the building that scene looked cool and the building just freezes and you see that light flickering and you're like yeah. oh he's he's back and then he tells us about how he prepared for this fight. So Doroki tells us how he prepared, how he found his inner peace, he accepted both sides, and how his friends helped him to reach this level. And even to the point where he said to his dad, I'm going to fight W. Yes. It's my fight. Um, because we were wondering before. He was like, oh, why is... Endeavor not here. Endeavor not fighting. Endeavor wanted you know? to. It, yeah. See, and that's also where, I, you know, I would have wished for... 
I'm assuming W is dead, but I, I, I would have wished for this, a, a happier ending where he knew that his family, his dad was actually looking for him and they were devastated after the, the, the forest burn and after him disappearing, yeah. but also that he wanted to fight him, that, to be here for him. See, it would have been nice for them to have a moment, like even if he was yes. dying, to have like one last moment together. Maybe and they the, will, and, the, yeah. and the dad like says a goodbye or just something. Just like apologizing says, to him, listen, you know. I made mistakes. Yeah, I was a bad dad. Uh, I'm getting emotional. It was such a. I, I I mean, I remember when 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 he did. I mean, Darby's dance was wild. That was such an incredible uh, episode. Mm. But you could really see how destroyed Endeavor was because he was frozen. He yeah. couldn't move. Um. Right, but then we see Shota attack, um, and then Dabi goes into this further, he burns even further. The other three Endeavor sidekicks jump into the way, protect yeah. Shota because he needs to restart. Also, what a moment having to restart. <laughs> like, are you ready? <laughs> like, get it together. Get it together. But then Shoto goes in for the final blow and freezes everything. So let's see what's going to happen next, next week and how they're going to explain maybe also that attack because... You know, for Dabi being that strong, one punch to take him out, it, there is a bit of a disconnect. I, yeah, I would have expected a longer fight. This was a massive attack, you know. It was like, what was it called? Glacial something. Aegis. Yeah. Aegis. So, you hmm. know, it was a cold... What, is, what they say is like a cold flame. Hmm. It's almost like, like yeah, it's a counterattack to Dabi's flames. Mm-hmm. Um... I hope he's not dead yet. Yeah, they need to. They will have a like chat. a little moment where they yes. chat and whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it would be a bit sad if he's just gone now. I agree. I agree. It would be way too sad. I'm expecting that for them to have a bit of a chat and then yeah, for them to let go. You know what I would have liked? Um, I would have liked if Dabi would have attacked. You know, like some sort of flames or something. Mm. You know, he was doing that all the time. He was like throwing flames. But it would have been cool if the Doroki would have, like, you know, frozen those flames and pushed them back so the, the, the flames reach Darby and then that ice even just cools them off. Like, something yeah. like that that was a bit more visually, you know, ha- showing us how the ice takes over. Yeah. I would have liked something like that. Yeah. But it was cool, nonetheless. And uh, you were right. You, you know, he looks like the devil. Darby looked like a demon. Yeah. Um, Shoto actually said something interesting. Mm. And even with the flashbacks we saw and the, this doctor, right, talking, they were saying that um, Darby was, like, part of them, right, yeah. fighting with them. But it was almost like he was working by himself, he right? Doing he was doing his own thing. And he didn't, didn't really care what they were doing. It was, for him, it was mostly about revenge mm. against his dad, you yeah. know? Mm. Um, and then Shoto was saying at some point, like they went through similar things growing up, mm. right? Being trained and, like, the father mistreating them. Mm. But in the end, they went totally different paths. Like, Shoto decided... I mean, he had a great group of friends as well, exactly. right, at school. And he just had this different path. And, yeah. But Darby just turned evil. And he said, like, stop killing innocent people. Mm. Which is true. Which is true. It was a good episode and you know it had to happen it was it was literally brother versus brother right this was episode eight thanks for being back with us we will see you for episode nine yes we are going to watch kaiju number eight after this and demon slayer on monday so if you have not subscribed please do so and we'll see you for the next one bye, bye.